Gibbs it is. He's in the nest of the North Melbourne players and it was going to have to be a really strong contested mark for him to uh, get the shot as he did. Those number one draft picks stick Five together, don't they? The, the other one started on the interchange tonight, Murphy, and he's still there. Fev's back. Gibbs hasn't had a whole lot of set shots this season, just the four coming into tonight. He's two goals and two behind so far. He's in front of the ledger. And it's all square again. It was amazing Carlton got going in the first minute or two, but when there was that reverse free kick, all of a sudden they got the goal, the Kangaroos, and played with real, you know, real zest and energy for the next three or four minutes. So question is, can they keep going with that? Uh, Carlton have got that emotional boost from, uh, from the, their, their first goal to, uh, to balance the ledger. There's the goal kicker. Gibbs off the ground now. Favola back out there. Lively start to this one. Seven points apiece on Friday Night Football. The early going. Adam Simpson's last game. Carlton desperate for a victory. Slick towards Simpson from Harvey. He paddles the ball in front of him. Rolls out between his legs. Rawlings. Anthony caught one high for Rito. Urquhart. Well blindsided by Fev. And it will be Favola's free kick. Didn't see him coming, so Pavola back on the ground, suddenly with Enterprise darting in there and applying the pressure. You need eyes in the back of your head, and he certainly didn't have them. It's interesting, if Russell had kicked a goal, would that have been paid advantage? Sometimes I think that the advantage rule, Carlton have got two chances at goal. So, Pavola, probably, I was talking about those performances in recent weeks, his football's equivalent of Sybil. <laughs> you wonder whether Fev's two personalities should both be counted against the salary cap. Here he is directly in front, about 35 metres out. This could reignite him after coming off the ground. They're giving away a very soft free kick. In he comes, and it's hit the post. Not sure where that leaves him. We're just putting it through the computer now, Downs. Mm. A lot better set up here from Carlton in this kick out than, uh, than their first one that North took uh, coast to coast. It's not the first time a ball's gone from left to right and hit the post for Fed this year, is it? Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne, yep. In a much more dramatic stage. He's going to get it again here. So Cruz is playing out of the goal square at the moment. And Favola's up the field a bit. Neat kick. To Walker, lovely to see him back too. First game for the season. It's about when he started last year as well. Duck the head, do something with it, Mark. So Murphy just coming onto the ground. Thomas squaring it up to McMahon. Well, and then McMahon should go down the line, and he does. Swallows away. Now Petrie's going to provide the lead. Swallow kicks it in his direction. It's a good kick. I know he's gone wide, Petrie, but uh, it was a good kick. Just the fact that he's presented twice and got two marks in this uh, first half of the mm. first quarter, I think, is good news for the Kangaroos. One thing they've struggled with, North, is, is getting the ball inside 50, just for an average of 45 in their games this year. Already ahead on that stat, uh, 5 to 4. Actually, down 5 to 4, but they look like they're getting it in there um, a lot seconds. better than uh, in previous weeks. He's got a good goal-kicking record against Carlton, uh, Petrie, but he hasn't kicked a goal for a month. But now, tonight, gets a chance by playing deep forward. So, again, all square, as it's been for much of this opening term. Will hand to himself. Short. Thornton. Not a lot of urgency there. Spills behind. Hadley taken down by Greenwood. Ball releases. Harvey's over it. Greenwood comes again. Gets to his feet. Still going. Clay. Thanks, thanks. Leave it, leave it. Thank we you. Saw before the game that Levi Greenwood has received two players players awards in the last two weeks. He's laid two fantastic tackles oh, early yeah. in this match. Walker, good to see him back in the action. Murphy at half back hesitates. Armfield. Well, 
That was a replica of what happened at the other end. And Petrie gets a free kick. He did a favola. Yes, I think we know the teammates are going to call for the ball all the time, but it doesn't mean they're in the correct position. The guy with the ball in hands has to be able to make sure that if he's going to give it to his teammate, at least he's got a, a split second. The, uh, they've been caught cold, those couple of uh, defenders in the forward 50. Moments ago, he missed from the forward pocket, now directly in front. Kicks from right on the 50. Nice kick too. Beautiful kick. North Melbourne in front. leaders of voice I mean ducks as well I mean when you're a kid growing up you was always told to use your voice or someone's in trouble can you hear your, your well, teammates? Well you know I think the fact is everybody's calling for the footy I mean if you're within 10 metres of the footy you're probably calling for it to receive which is why the guy with the with the ball has to be uh, because you haven't got eyes in the back of your head clearly. Well, I would have thought that was the right that was the right handball option for yep. Murphy though because he was under intense pressure it's just that Armfield didn't have the awareness to do anything with the ball once he'd received it well, Petrie's made an impact early, he hasn't has. he? Yep. So Judd, who I think at the end of last week, a lot of us thought he might not be playing this week. He had the ankle strapped, didn't play much of the last oh. quarter against Collingwood, but out there tonight. Oh, no chance. My ball. Such a vital game, isn't it, for Carlton? Oh, I mean, sitting on nine wins, only twice since 01 have they actually got to oh, ten oh. wins in a season. They haven't won, or they haven't played a final. In such a long time, oh, since the 2001 oh, season. There, well, before their loss last week, they'd won the three previous to that, but they haven't been in great form. Their early season form's been a lot better than their recent form, and uh, look, against any opposition, it's no gimme at the moment. And at three-quarter time against Sydney in the third of those wins, they weren't travelling that well that day, were they? Go, Carlson! tackle! Here they are, Hadley. Inside the centre square. Yeah, he's looking for Favola, lurking behind, well going to ground as it turned out, O'Halpin, close to the boundary line, Thompson, claimed by Betts. Got in. You think the Kangaroos have had the rethink about their setup? Petrie mainly played back last week to try and be an extra tall around Brisbane's Jonathan Brown, but this week they've let Hale out of the forward line, or left him out of the forward line, Petrie's been given that task. Taken high as Harvey. Harvey lays it off. Simpson cruising past. Now power. A good kick normally. Judd over the top. Judd will not be happy. Well, for him, he wasn't happy. Ball goes to the outer side from Simpson. Grimer, the short one. And the mark is taken again by power. And now using Harvey's run. But uh, Robinson was going to corral him. McMahon got it from Grimer. Kick to Simpson. So North get the advantage and Ferrito goes to Petrie on a long lead. Big strong lead too by Petrie. Thomas almost had it. Judd gets back. A couple of Carlton players still reeling on the deck here. You can see them in the foreground as the Blues go wide. And Houlihan's got hold of it. That's Thornton down. Yeah, and Bauer. So two of their key defenders as Hampson sits under a ball for a long time and takes the mark. Bauer showed a lot of courage coming back with a flight of it. Gibbs comes out wide for Fowler. Couldn't quite reach it. Takes a Carlton bounce. Murphy had a long time. For Fowler, can he kick it? No. Pulls it back towards the goal. I'm sure he was going for goal. Off hands. Betts deep in the pocket. Creates some space. Who'll get there first? Boots the ball. Good enough, Stevens. Tell you the, the happiest player on the ground that Carlton kick the goal is Brendan Favola because he, should've, he should've just should have given the handball. He had a handball oh. on to Simpson, chose to have the shot at yeah. goal. So <laughs> the fact that in that flow of play, they've ended up with the goal might have saved him. Another message from the coach, I suspect, but it was uh, just a good quick kick. Quick, and a couple of uh, Carlton players being interchanged. Uh, when you hit the ball as hard as Petrie did, that's a double value. So Stevens the goal. Now a couple of injuries. Tim, I know you're down there. Uh, Bauer and Thornton, they both look like they were doing it a bit tough. Thornton looks like uh, he may have done his shoulder. You see him on screen there. And Bauer looks to have hurt his right knee. Well, we'll be keeping an eye on that. So for the fourth time in this opening term, scores level. Crew.